Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So, don't be seduced in your cleaning business, but there's really not anything sexy here. This is about being seduced into thinking that you can make a lot more money on the accounts you've been cleaning because maybe somebody's reported they can clean it a lot faster. What am I talking about? Maybe you've run into this situation. You bid a brand new account, you land it, you start cleaning it, and maybe someone starts reporting, hey listen, I know you bid this at four hours. We can clean this in two hours. We got right through it, no problem. You might say at first, oh, now wait a minute, are you sure? I mean, that would we certainly would make a lot more money here. So you don't want to be seduced. That's the seduction. You think to yourself, well, listen, we could make a fortune here. We could make, oh boy, the profit would be great. And you start asking, well, now wait a minute, uh, are you sure you're doing all the duties? Yeah, 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 we're doing all of the duties, no problem. It just turns out we're very efficient. We're really learning good methods to do it. Now, it is true that sometimes in a given building, you may have overestimated your budgeted time. It can happen. It also may be that in a certain building, um, your cleaning staff or your managers can figure out kind of a more efficient way to clean it. Yes, that can happen. They may just be working. You may have a, a new cleaner on hand who's faster, who's just a faster cleaner. Therefore, it cuts the time. That can happen too. So all those situations can happen. Can happen. But don't be seduced by the idea of a very, very profitable account based on the fact of dramatically reducing the budgeted cleaning hours without a very good reason, right? Because the goal really isn't to have a unbelievably um, profitable uh, job. You might think that is the goal. Well, I don't think that's it and I, I think you probably don't really think that either. The goal is to have a whole bunch of really happy clients that you're cleaning where their price is a fair profit on their account. That's really the goal, for that to be stable. And the point is, right, if it's very profitable because you've cut the time in half, you very well may, number one, lose that job for poor quality. And number two, you know, maybe your price was too, maybe they're looking at pricing you out too, and you don't have any good, solid defense of why you're charging what you're charging. So the point is, don't be seduced. Think, because that's the long-term strategy. Ask questions. Find out why are they reporting faster cleaning times. Are we skipping things? What's going on? Maybe you need to revisit how you're actually budgeting and, and bidding your job. Do you have a good job of using software combined with your experience to really know that your budgeted times are dependable, that you know that they're reliable to use? Slight adjustments for specific reasons can happen, but don't be seduced into dramatically cut times just to make big profit on jobs when ultimately then you could lose that customer for poor quality. Something to think about. Till next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.